going? We are indeed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's up, guys? Uh, yeah. Today, we're going to be playing I Love You, Colonel Sanders, a finger licking good dating simulator. <laughs> Don't um, say finger licking good dating. In the why, same why? Why? It's a good question. Is finger, finger licking good even the KFC slogan? Yeah. It's finger licking good. Why? Yeah. Uh, you're asking? I know. We don't have an answer. Can it get that gravy? It's something... It's disgusting. Something she just can't get an answer to in life. And while we're playing this game, it's one of those answers. So we're going to jump straight into this game. Why is there a hamster? Oh, why is there a hamster on there? I don't know. I... Just a, just a, uh, Did you say we've never even seen this game? Oh, yeah. We've... <laughs> well, this, is, this is more jumpy than the yeah. half the horror games we've played. We were, we were told to... I don't know where to look. That is so loud. That's going to be picked up down the mic. That is how loud it is. I don't know where to look. What on earth? Damn. So oh, for fuck's sake. My, <laughs> my Discord says playing I love you, Colonel Sand. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna get a message in no time at all. Oh, I swear to God, if this is like Doki Doki, I'm gonna be so angry. I do. It is literally Doki. Is it probably you the same thing? You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of the modest student Doki. apartment. This is Doki Doki. The world's peaceful and serene. You can stay in the moment forever. Or you can wake up now, now, now. <laughs> You're first at close because I don't sleep in. Well, what do we do? Stay. Up. You slept for the school year and gave up one and like the opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. What have we? Right, let's try it again. Let's okay. try that one. We died straight away. All right, okay. <laughs> we died on the first question. <laughs> All right, smell alcohol. Up and out of blogging, bitches, chat, ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learn, Academy for Learn, Academy. Academy. <laughs> Your mind begins to wonder Ooh. who will be there. What will you cook? What should you wear? You, will you need to? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I better will. make sure to arrive. Do you want to read Mary Smith and I read the? Okay. A... <laughs> You must do your morning checklist, teeth brushed, hair comb, pits, deal, deal dryers, nothing can stop you now. You confidently grab a biscuit, strap nice. the door and head off the class. Nice, shut it down. It needs to get your blood flowing. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Are we in France? Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She's the most adorable little person you've ever met, you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, Mavi Smith. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm... Because I sure am excited, a little nervous, okay, okay, I love nervous. What the? It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm not good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam, raised by master of parents. She'd always set that up to a very high standard. You can't actually believe it. Definitely believe it. Uh, I cannot believe it. Liar. And your custom engraved measuring spoons out your hands and onto the ground. Hey, <laughs> it's Ashley, oh, your arch rival. Oh, shit. She got, she she got, she got, she got, she got some of those titties, though. <laughs> she got some of those titties. <laughs> she can do whatever she wants to my, to my custom engraved spoons. <laughs> Hello, Ashley. What's a, what a stance this is. Yeah, that's a power stance. I don't see you there, chicken, chicken chins. Ooh. You leave Mary Smith's shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. <laughs> Van Van the Man Man has stepped up looking at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight that you can see him as you rocking out his glutes before he starts his hair. They're rocking glutes. Ahem, Van Van. You rang rang. <laughs> <laughs> You've never been sure what the... <laughs> as long as you've known the Mashi and Van Van have just been as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I can't believe the University Cooking School answers you. I can't believe the University Cooking School Academy for Learning would actually allow people like you to attend as students. This dude on the right, right? This dude, this, the right, right? I mean, Jesus Christ. I know, right? You think they just hand us, hand us our dip, diplomas now? Shall or maybe Van hire us on a book. I'll do, do Van Van and this girl. You do maybe Smith and Ashley. Okay. Or maybe hire us as professors. You amateurs could learn enough from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Psh, see you later, losers! As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window right next to it. Oopsie! I think it's broken. 
You reach forward and easily pull, pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you. Uh, I think you meant thank you? My name's Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. <laughs> He's old. Click it. Uh, hi, Pop. I'm Mavis Smith. So, are you going to make me hold the door all day? <laughs> nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. <coughs> oh, here we go. Miriam fucking fancies the pants off him. She likes Pop. You I don't know it? what this pose is. Is it just me or is he kind of cute? I think it's just you. You both shake your shoulders before following him into the building. You sat at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. You. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. Just for a little ref, we we could we played Doki Doki on stream like a year ago, and it was it was nine hours of hell followed by five minutes of somewhat good ending. And I can just nine tell, hours. That's all it was. It felt longer than that. It felt like three days. It felt like it, it was over the course. It, of it felt like stream. I was chained to the freaking chair by Ali and Clayman and just forced with like chopsticks. And like and like one of those woodpecker things that taps the yeah, mouse. Yeah, and then what had happened in the chat, we would go, guys, we're going to give up in a minute. This game is so rubbish. And they were going, oh, no, keep time. playing, keep playing. It's, it's a massive get good payoff. In a minute. It's good, no, no, it's going to get good in a minute. Yeah, going to get good in Heard a minute. Heard that. Every day. Uh, all right. Oh. <laughs> Why is there a dog with a A scruffy looking pooch takes his place at a podium in the front of the car. Shotgun dog. Okay, you're the dog. You're spring. <laughs> woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. Uh, we, uh, I said it. No, turn the translator on. Now, now, quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonable cute pup, and why is he our in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. Please, call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and a little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. I'm chilly. Someone close the window. And then, he oh, walks in. Oh, shit. Who's doing oh, Colonel? Oh, yeah. Who's doing Colonel? Shotgun. Okay, here we go. Okay, you do him. I'll do Colonel. You do the, the uh, narrator. Good, we won't we'll remember who's doing who. I'm doing Sanders. I'm doing the dot. I can't do all You're three of them. I'm doing these two. I'm doing the dog. You're doing. I'll do Colonel. You do Miriam and Mavi Smith. No, I'll do these three. You do the narrator and Mavi Smith. And Pop. And Pop. Right. Okay. And anyone else that comes in, I'll do these three. Okay. Okay. Uh, you're, God, this, um, is like, this is like, like acting training. <laughs> you're immediately swept up in the awe of the new student and his remarkable goatee. But he's a student. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. He's, he's the kind of guy who would go, oh, you don't know my attractive model girlfriend, she goes to uh, a different school. Yeah. It's him, it's him, it's... If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Who's Please, Harland? Oh, okay, call good. me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. Oh, your real name's Harland. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisles of desks. Suddenly the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you and you're not entirely wrong. Oh, I'm doing Ashley then, yeah. I suppose. And uh, am I going to do... What's his name? Though? And this over here must be Sweaty Sweats a lot. <laughs> Are you doing that then? Maybe we should open that window back up before Fawcett Pitts melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Hold on just a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is it with you with these really weird insults? Besides, when Mavi Smith sweats, it's not gross. It's beautiful. Look at the shimmer. Yeah. You take a moment to clean yourself up. It's a good thing you didn't forget about the deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. Dot, dot, dot. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and get some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School, Acad Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present and future. Many challenges await you, there will be tears, there will be blood, there might even be an adorable tiny food. <laughs> and when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena. What's he doing? He's angry. He's like, 
Oh, who, who, oh, who the fuck have we got shit. now? I, I reckon it's the clown from McDonald's. One on McDonald's. Oh, I, I, fuck, I hope I can be Ronald. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Hi, guys. Uh, so I'm late. I hope everyone had a good, good summer. I really miss... <laughs> Quiet! <laughs> late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Uh, don't you recognise me? This is the third year in school. You're with my teacher. I don't know what I just said. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does, does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Let that be a lesson to you students. Their tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across on his tiny wheels. <laughs> right, we're about to click and I guess we're about to see who the fuck Clank is. Who is Clank on his tiny wheels? You turn to see the student sprinkles is referring who appears to be some sort of wait, industrial wait, wait. kitchen appliance. I reckon it's a... Um, no, no, no. Clank. On tiny wheels. It might be a blender. Mm. Tiny wheels cooking apparatus. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with blender, actually. Blender's a good one. Uh, I'm going to say toaster. The fuck is that? Work. <laughs> The class burst into laughter. What is it? Oh, clank you, rascal. <laughs> Sprinkles walk. Oh. Sprinkles walks in the classroom. But everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose in the air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm. Your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a volt multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. <laughs> You've never... <laughs> You've never had a talking dog as a teacher. So before. am I. I've never had one either. This is so relatable. I love it. <laughs> but Sprinkle has a reputation for being smart, but tough is well known. You decide to try another. You try. Uh, you decide to try to butter him up and give him a treat out of your pocket. But what kind? What should we try and give him? Beef treat, rubber ball, or chicken snack? I think. Um, He's a uh, chef. I think chicken snack. I don't know if I don't know if you'll turn his Yeah, maybe a, I reckon oh. But KFC is chicken. Yeah, should we go for chicken yeah. snack? You reach beneath your apron and return the chicken snack in your hand. <laughs> Sprinkles eyes will go wide as he locks onto it. His favourite. Well, 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 I think there might be some competition for my new SARS student. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, <laughs> leaving it leaving your hands slick with a coating of warm doggy crawl. <laughs> You see, in the, you see the other students eyeing, your jealous, eyeing you jealously, <laughs> but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treats favours at, at all times. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favourite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Who do you reckon it's going to be? I reckon it's Van Van or the Colonel we're going to be sitting next to. They're the two options. Uh. Oh, we're picking fucking Colonel Sanders, mate. Hey, Mavie Smith, there's still a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed this seat next to me, if you're interested. We're sitting next to fucking Cur Oh, nah, I'm thinking best friend. You know, we don't want to be too eager, though. I want to suck his dick. We don't want to be too yeah, eager. Yeah, 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 okay. All right, sit by best friend. Okay. Take your seat to sit by Miriam. You can just, like, pop a ball I'm so out glad to have you near me to support me through this clock. Colonel Sanders like this. <laughs> Across, across the uh, room. He's like, there's a seat right here if you'd like to sit down, but he had his hand it like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's cool. Of course, you're my oldest <coughs> friend. Who else would I sit by? The, the hot guy across the room. <laughs> Colonel Sanders, he's such a magnetic personality and there's a seat open right next to him. If you had sat there, you might have gotten to know him a little better. Well, fucking hell. I'd never sacrifice our friendship. Besides, I'm sure I'll get a chance to talk to him later in the semester. I've got three whole days. It's like a lifetime. Great, are we going to be sitting there for three whole days? <laughs> so you say, but now that Miriam mentions it, that Colonel Sanders is just so darn dreamy. Oh, dreamy. As soon as you've settled in your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz! He should have said pop quiz. Yay, a quiz about me? This incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you are ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. Oh shit, here we go. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? 
extremely look at you, Pop. <laughs> That's right. Forest is to tree as chicken is to feather. I would assume. Yeah. That's, That's right. right. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? It's got oh. to be a spoon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. What food is best for a broken heart? Oh, anything, as long as he's prepared to love and not to myself. A pancake that looks like a silly face. <laughs> no, no, not one. Yeah. That's right! Why is he fucking the dude know. from Kellogg's? <laughs> they're great, they're great! Is Sprinkles a good boy? <laughs> no? Yes, I mean, he's a talking dog that teaches us at culinary school. He's the best boy! <laughs> the best dude, boy. Mini News is gonna love this video. Uh, that's right! Your total score is perfect for five out of five. Wow. Be honest, did you cheat? You look up at the... Oh, that was weird. It should have been this thing. You look up at that Colonel Sanders. He's been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. And I rouse. I know we just met, but uh, I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. Hard diggity, Mervy Smith. You just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch. 